hi there, ho there, welcome to the studio tonight. So, I've got a quick uh, little opening for you in the studio tonight. Uh, I saw these online on Amazon and he's got a pretty good review and I was looking for another uh, set of brushes, something I could throw in my travel pack, more than the water brushes that you've seen me use before. Uh, and so I ordered these, these just came today. These are AIT Art Select uh, paint brushes. I believe they cost me $29.99 uh, from Amazon. And I, I haven't opened them yet, I'm very excited. I've waited several hours to do this. Uh, so, well, without delay, let's, let's tear these things open. They come in a nice plastic pack. Ah, come on, come on. I should say a nice bag over top of what looks like a pretty nice cardboard case. There we go. And here are the brushes. Um, it's got, oh, this is an invitation to join their uh, paintbrush club or their products club in there. Oh, it's nice, soft foam. Okay, here we go. Um, let's actually get to the brushes, the thing that we're here to look at. Uh, these are supposed to be pure Russian sable brushes. Uh, I did see on the back, whoops, on the back of this that they do come with a one year no hassle money back guarantee. So if they're not very good, I guess I send them back and get my money back or call them up. Let's see, I've got a two, four, six, and an eight. I've got some water. Right here, I'm going to take the cap off of them. Oh, they're not, they don't have any gelatin on them actually. They're pretty soft right there. Let's get that out. Just want to push this into my hand a little bit. Uh, and I don't know if you can see, I push it into my hand a little bit, and the bristles, they're, they're pretty springy and they're coming back to a really nice point. I'm surprised, especially for such a relatively inexpensive brush. Okay, so this one, the number six, yep. Okay, my number eight didn't have much of any gelatin on it, uh, holding the bristles in place. But the other three do, the six. Let me give this a quick little, uh, yeah, that's coming, snapping right back to a point. Let's see if you can see it. There it is, looks pretty good. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, paint here in just a second. Oh, this one's pretty good too, wow. All right, well I don't know how they perform yet, but initially they're pretty good. I'm not jamming it in like this. I'm rolling it from, kind of from the side a little bit if you're, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, and well, I've got one hair that's really out on this one. Just trying to see what else, if I can get any hairs to separate here. Just got that one. Okay, let's see how these work with a little bit of color. I've got my M gram set here and a piece of paper. I'm not exactly sure what color paper this is. Let me start with the larger brush here, my number eight, and I'm gonna charge this up with a nice, a heavy, bright color we can all see fairly easily. Um, let me do it this way. I've got my rig set up here for shooting something else. And uh, so I'm a little, a little out of sorts. Normally I would work up here a little bit more. It's having me work down here. All right, so if I just try to lay on a little color, I always want to see how much this holds, how much water. It holds a nice amount of water. Well, it lets me do a nice graded wash here with this one. Cleaning it out a little bit. 
and I just want to want to push it a little bit and see. Okay, and it splits a little bit, but when I bring it out of the water, it's got a nice. It's not a brilliant point. Let me see. Let me zoom in a little bit and see if you can see it. Uh, this is again. This is the eight. So you're probably not looking for a sharp point point, but you could tell it's got a nice point there. I can push it down and it breaks a little bit, which is fine. I wet it and it comes back to a nice point there. So, whoa! I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it points. For that right off the top, there we go, that's a, what is this one, this was my 8, let's see what the 6 is, this one should come to a little finer point, and I'm just going to see if I can do kind of a wash with this one, let's see how much water it carries and how much I can pull it out, clean my brush again, and Bring that right down while well, I can bring that right down to nothing. Okay, I already tell I lost a bristle on this one. And this one doesn't feel when I press it, doesn't feel quite as springy. Let's clean this up a little bit. Press it a little bit. Okay, we've compressed our bristles. Let's see if they go right back. And not bad. I'm gonna zoom in on this one too. You can see it comes to a decent point, uh, but not great. I can I can rub it, and it'll come to a little better point. Um, so okay, not bad. Um, let's see what our number four can do. Oops, sorry about that. Wrong way. This one I would really hope would come to a point. I was kind of hoping that the six would come to a nice point. All right, let's see what my wash is going to look like with this one. Let's pull a little bit of this color down. I should have a little harder time making this wash because my brush is a little smaller. Won't hold quite as much water. Let's see if I can get it all way down. Well that's not bad. A little heavy at the top. Uh, but it did pull the color down pretty nicely. Let's see if I put a little um, push it in a little bit. Okay. Messed up the bristles just a bit and, and I'm not I, you know I'm just touching the bristles on as if I were I don't know painting a side of a, a bush or a tree or something. I'm not jamming it real hard. I'm certainly not trying to stress test or ruin my brushes uh, the first time I've used them. Okay, so this one has right out of the water if you can see it's split a little bit there. It doesn't come down to one point. Again, I can probably give it a little twist as I'm doing something and get it to go to a point. And I should be able to get a pretty fine line with this one. Well, that's not bad. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know what, let's do that again. I should be able to get a nice, fine line, smooth, steady line with that one, and a fairly thin line, not perfect, I wash this off and I look at it and it does, it comes back to a decent point but not, not great. And let's see what this smallest one will do, here's my, going to be my smallest gradient. And you've probably seen me do this gradient a number of times in the past uh, few videos I have done. I will let you in on a little secret. This is my new favorite practice thing to do, is to just see how smooth 
a gradient I can make or to see how far I can pull some color down. I'll go about an inch and then clean my brush a little bit and an inch and clean my brush and just see if I can pull it down literally to nothing. Um, the smaller your brush gets a little bit harder to do. Uh, so let's see what this one looks like again. These brushes don't come to the finest point, I'm noticing. Let's see if I can make a thinner line. They don't come to the finest point, but they make a decent point. If I just wash it in the water and pull it out, that's what I end up with. I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra water off of there. But it's not a bad point. I can, I can certainly uh, just give a little twist like this as I get my color and it comes back to a, a point. Now, the last thing I want to see here, just on my first initial go around with these brushes, is what I can get, what kind of a point I can get with my six. All right, so I told you I couldn't get a fine line with that, and, oops, I'm sorry. Like I said, my camera is just not pointing exactly the way I thought. So that's my number six right there. That's a pretty fine line. X, if, I, if I twirl my brush around, it does come to a fairly fine point. And here we go. The last one I want to see, what I can do is number eight. Oh, this one doesn't seem like it's going to be quite as nice. I can't quite find the tip on this one. It doesn't come to quite, I can't do quite as small a line, which you would expect from a larger brush. Um, but that's it. These are my, that's all I'm going to do a little bit. These are my AIT brushes. Where's my logo? I was going to show the logo. There it is. The AIT Art Select paintbrushes. These are, let me get them all over here so you can see them. These are made from Russian sable, around a set of four. Uh, I got them from Amazon for approximately 30 bucks. First impressions are they're a nice, a decent paintbrush. I'm going to do a little bit more painting with these and let you know later on uh, what I think, but there you go, first impression. So if you've used these, let me know about it. Uh, if you've tried them, you know somebody who uses them, um, leave a note and let me know if you've, done, if you've tried them or anything. Uh, I'll be really be curious to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for stopping by the studio tonight. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.